everyone. It is, this is the video for the 26th, but this is the morning of the 27th, uh, as you can probably tell because it's light out. I'm also not wearing a shirt. It is hot up here, and I didn't feel like wearing a shirt today, so I'm very sweaty. Anyway, um, so uh, training has been very good the past couple of days. I, um, so I, I, my quad has still been bothering me, but I managed to actually squat and leg press pretty heavy for the first time in a while yesterday. And that was, you know, really good. Having, having more chance to let my quad, my left quad, uh, recover has been a huge thing and that's been super helpful. So, um, so yeah, I was able to get in a really good leg day yesterday and, and I feel much better about it than I used to. Although, of course, my low back is killing me simply because I'm doing so much uh, hip hinging work. So, that sucks, but um, it sucks in a good way. I also went ahead and got myself a pair of um, uh, tourniquets, blood pressure cuffs, to do blood flow restriction training. And that is something I'm going to be working into the next, uh, you know, this, this month. So, for those that don't know about blood flow restriction... Um, <laughs> my girlfriend actually freaked out because she was like, why are you buying tourniquets? Are you going to start taking up heroin? And I was like, no, no. And I had to, I was like laughing too hard to correct her. Um, but, <laughs> um, so the way blood flow restriction training works is it's, it's also called occlusion training, O-C-C-L-U-S-I-O-N. So um, essentially the way it works is that you apply a tourniquet or, you know, a wrap or some kind of device to cut off blood circulation to a specific muscle group. And then you're performing extremely light reps with that weight or extremely right, light, re light reps with that muscle. So um, most commonly it's used for the biceps and for the quads, for example. So uh, you, in the case of the biceps, you would apply the tourniquet, you know, just, just at the very top of the arm, just below the shoulder. Um, whereas uh, typically for doing quads, people actually use knee wraps instead of, uh, simply because, you know, most medical tourniquets are not big enough uh, for like someone's massive quads. But so they'll typically, again, you put it, you know, uh, up at the very top of the leg, just below the glute, and, um, and 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 you have to do very very light reps because obviously you're getting very little blood flow. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. But um, the thing is that you're getting a much greater effect out of these reps relative to how much their weight is. So you know if you're so say you know you're using something at maybe sixty percent of your max for you know sets of twelve, and you're getting a certain amount of uh, certain amount of uh, hypertrophy out of it and then you're doing the same thing with 20 or 30 percent of your max and you're getting you know roughly the same amount of hypertrophy well um obviously there's some 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 benefits to that yeah it, it does suck to 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 do it this way because again it, it kind of hurts to train like that um but at the same time when you do it it, you're using much lighter weights and you're getting a much greater effect out of these lighter weights than you would otherwise. So here's, you know, some, some re some ways that that could be useful. Um, one, say you're traveling and your hotel gym only has, you know, goofy 25 pound dumbbells or something like that, you know, um, that way you could still get in a solid arm workout or, you know, maybe a solid leg workout if they've got, you know, a couple machines or you, you, know, you can maybe do some goblet squats or some lunges or something. Um, it it allows you to get a lot more effect out of a lighter weight. So since you can, you know, it makes it much more flexible in in terms of what kind of equipment you can use to get a, a solid, effective workout in. So it's good for traveling because uh, again, all you have to do is carry with you a couple wraps or you know some tourniquets, and um, you know, pretty simple, easy to use. Um, and then the other thing is that you know. If, for example, you can't lift heavy because, say, you know, you're injured or, you know, you're coming from an injury or something like that, then, you know, again, you can you get a similar effect out of a lighter weight. So you can, it helps train around that injury without exacerbating the injury as much as it would, you know, by using a heavier weight. So by reducing, by getting more of effect relative to the amount of tension you're actually putting on your body, um, you know, you're also reducing the overall stress on your body. And that means it's potentially easier to recover from. 
so of course the question is, you know, is there science behind this? Does the science work? Absolutely. Um, so the two big proponents of it have been uh, Lane Norton and Jeremy, I'm probably going to butcher his last name, Lonicky. It's L-O-E-N-N-E-K-E. -E. Um, Jeremy has done a lot of the research uh, on the subject, so he's kind of the person to reach out to. He's also a bit of a troll on social media, so that's always fun to pay attention to. Um, Lane Norton, on the other hand, if you don't know him, um, you know, Lane Norton's a great guy too, <laughs> a great coach. And um, if you search just like BFR training, um, hit one of his articles on the subject will probably pop up first. He's he's got much more detailed articles than I could. And in fact, I'll link I'll, I'll link one in, in the in the YouTube description here, um, just so that you can you know get a, a better idea, a better explanation than me. Um, so, uh, one thing to note is that, uh, I bought the TechMed adjustable tourniquet. Um, it looks kind of like this. It is a red strap with a little clip. You put it over the arm, cinch it tight, and then, uh, you know, when you want to let go, there's a quick release button so that you can just, uh, you know, pop it off pretty easy. Um, I hear that these are the ones that, uh, Lane Norton uses. Uh, my friend was telling me when I was asking, you know, what I should get. She was like, yep, these are, these are the ones Lane uses. So, you know, if they work for him, they should work for you. Um, I find these ones pretty comfortable. Some of the, some of the blood flow restriction cuffs, they, they, some, some people do sell like, you know, specialized cuffs for blood flow restriction stuff. Um, those are kind of hit and miss from what I hear. They can be pretty expensive. I've seen them go for like $45 a pair. When I think I paid, you know, 10 bucks for these, uh, 10 bucks total for both of them. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I would just search tech med tourniquet on Amazon and, you know, just get a pair of those. That seems to be, um, you know, the easiest, cheapest option. And I like them. They're relatively comfortable. You do have to obviously cinch it pretty tight so that you can feel, you know, your blood flow being restricted, <laughs> being cut off. But, um, but yeah, aside from that, they're, you know, about as comfortable as it gets. I'm working that into my arm days on my, you know, on the arm days on the, the program that I'm doing. Uh, the program does recommend switching up the arm workouts and the shoulder workouts once a month so that you can, you know, just get a little bit different stimulus in. And I'm excited to try this because I haven't really tried blood flow restriction in a while. So um, that's really about it for me for right now. Um, writing has been going pretty well. Also, I will be out of town for the next few days. I'm going to be in Missouri for a cousin's wedding. And, um, you know, that means a lot of travel time and a lot of chance to write. It also means that I'm probably not going to work out for the next couple of days. And I'm not really going to be able to make videos. My laptop does not have a very good camera. And um, it's just, you know, <laughs> it just wouldn't work out very well. So, um so yeah, I won't be making videos for the next couple of days, but of course I'll make some videos for you guys as soon as I get back. Um, aside from that, I've just been playing a lot of Doom. The new Doom is amazing. I should probably make a, a whole video reviewing Dooms just because, uh, you know, it's good. It's really good. It's it's It feels like Doom 1 and Doom 2, and I will tell you that that is, if you know me, that is one of the highest fucking compliments I can give a video game, a shooting game, uh, in, in, you know at all um the original doom and doom 2 those were such good games and i think that yeah i'm not gonna get i'm gonna i'm not gonna get too much into it but i will say that the new doom i've been having a blast i've been playing it i've loved every second of it and um you know i'm sure i'm gonna keep loving it for the rest of the game so uh yeah i will talk to you guys in a few days probably talk about doom some more then and uh yeah have a good weekend. As always, like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what kind of content you want to see in future videos. I'm always up for su suggestions. So, yep. All right. Have a good one. Bye.